Hello, welcome back. Let's read some more. I'm not getting up my bed. The auto reading not work because I have to uh, reboot my computer. But then I cannot uh, open this again, so I have to wait till my computer is crashing. So I have to read the uh, page by page. Bombardier Aviation. Bombardier Aviation Trade Name Bombardier Incorporated Type Subsidiary Industry Aerospace Industry Predecessor Canada Founded 1989 Headquarters Dorfel Quebec Canada Area Service Worldwide Equi People Rick Martel President and CEO Products Jet Airliners Former Sold to Airbus Business Jets Propeller Aircraft Former Sold to Longview Aviation Revenue US dollar 7.5 billion 2019 1 Number of employees 24,350 At year end 2019 1 Parent Bombardier Incorporated Divisions Aircraft Defense Aerostructures and Engineering Services Website ebombardier.com forward slash en forward slash our jets Bombardier Aviation is a division of Bombardier Incorporated. It is headquartered in Dorfel, Quebec, Canada. Two, its most popular aircraft included the Dash 8 Series 400, CRJ 100 forward slash 200 forward slash 440, and CRJ 700 forward slash 900 forward slash 1000 lines of regional airliners, and the newer C Series. It also manufactured the Bombardier 415 Amphibious Water Bomber in Dorfel and North Bay, and currently makes the Global Express and the Challenger lines of business jets. At one time, Bombardier had manufacturing plants in 27 countries, employing over 70,000 workers, but has since reduced its workforce to less than half and sold some of its holdings. History Early Activities Main engineering building and assembly plant of Bombardier Aerospace at Montreal Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport after acquiring Canada in 1986 and restoring it to profitability. In 1989 Bombardier acquired the near bankrupt Short Brothers Aircraft Manufacturing Company in Belfast, Northern Ireland. This was followed in 1990 by the acquisition of the bankrupt American company Learjet, a manufacturer of business jeet sheet quartered in Wichita, Kansas, and finally the money-losing Boeing subsidiary, de Havilland Aircraft of Canada based in Toronto, Ontario in 1992.3. Canada, Learjet and Short Brothers cost us $215 million to acquire and produced sales of US $1.3 billion in 1990.4. The sales of Canada commuter jets and airborne surveillance systems, Learjet business aircraft and Short Brothers. C-23 Sherpa cargo planes were growing at that time. The aerospace company accounts for over half of Bombardier Inc.'s revenue. By the start of the 2010s, its most popular aircraft included its Dash 8 Series 400, CRJ 100 forward slash 200 forward slash 440, and CRJ 700 forward slash 900 forward slash 1000 lines of regional airliners. Although the company was devoting most of its research and development budget to the new C Series. It also manufactured the Bombardier 415 Amphibious Water Bomber in Dorfel and North Bay, and the Global Express and the Challenger lines of business jets. The C Series, which Bombardier offered in several size versions, initially competed with the Airbus A318 and Airbus A319. The Boeing 737 Next Generation 737 to 737 to 700 models, and the Embraer 195. Bombardier claimed the C Series would burn 20% less fuel per trip than these competitors, 5, which would make it still about 8% more fuel efficient than the Boeing 737 MAX which was introduced in 2017. 
the launch customer for the C-Series, Lufthansa, signed a letter of intent for up to 60 aircraft and 30 options in 2008. Six. The Montreal manufacturing complex was redeveloped by Gayfari Associates to incorporate lean manufacturing for the C-Series. 7. 2010-2016. On the 24th of March, 2011, Shanghai-based Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, Comic, and Bombardier Inc. signed a framework agreement for a long-term strategic cooperation on commercial aircraft. The intention was to break the near duopoly of Airbus and Boeing. Eight, nine. Aircraft covered by the program included the Bombardier CRJ series, C series and Q series, and the Comac ARJ21 and Comac C919. In January 2012, the firm began manufacturing simple structures, such as flight controls for the CRJ series, from its first facility in Africa, near Casablanca, Morocco. On the 30th of September, 2013, it broke ground on its permanent facility, due to in late 2014. .10. In October, a joint development deal between Bombardier and a South Korean consortium consisting of Korea Aerospace Industries and Korean Airlines was revealed, to develop a 90-seater turboprogenial airliner targeting a 2019 launch date. 11. In November 2012, Bombardier signed the largest deal in its history with Swiss business jet operator Vistajet 456 Global Series jets for a total value of $3.1 billion, including an option for an additional 86 jets, for a total transaction value of $7.8 billion. 12. In April 2013, Canada's Porter Airlines placed a conditional order for 12 C-Series aircraft, with options for another 18 winking sad smiley 13. This was conditional on jets being allowed to use Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport off downtown Toronto. 14. In 2015, the Canadian government announced that it would not approve the use of jets at the airport and the proposal was shelved. In January 2014, 1,700 employees were cut from Bombardier Aerospace due to a 19% drop in orders in 2013. 15. In July of that year, Bombardier reorganized itself in response to underperformance. President Guy Hake retired and Bombardier Aerospace was split into three divisions, business aircraft, commercial aircraft and aerostructures, and engineering services, while 1,800 jobs were cut. 16. In its 2014 year-end statement, Bombardier Aerospace reported its employee count had reduced by 3,700, delivered 290 aircraft and held orders for 282 more, and also claimed strong long-term potential. 17. On the 29th of October, 2015, Bombardier announced a US dollar 4.9 billion third quarter loss and $3.2 billion write down in the C-Series. 18. 19. It also cancelled its Learjet 85 program taking another US dollar 1.2 billion write down and cancelling 64 outstanding orders. 18. Firms debt reached approximately 9 billion dollars, largely due to the C series, which had not recorded a single firm order since September 2014. 20. David Colleal, former president for business aircraft Bombardier shares fell 17.4% on that day. 18. By the 21st of December, 2015, 
The firm had 243 firm orders for Fixeries, a US dollar 2.5 billion cash infusion, $1 billion from the provincial government, plus a $1.5 billion investment from the Case de Deposit placements. Du Quebec was keeping the parent company adequately funded. 21. On the 17th of February, 2016. Bombardier announced its 2015 profits were $138 million before taking a $5.4 billion write down winking sad smiley. 22. It also announced 7,000 jobs would be cut. 22. After a long and expensive development, costing US dollar 5.4 billion to date, including a US dollar 3.2 billion right yet. The small 110-125 seat, CS100 version of the C-Series received initial type certification from Transport Canada on the 18th of December 2015.23. At the time, the company had 243 firm orders and letters of intent and commitment for another 360.24. Most orders were for the CS300 model. The first CS100 was expected to be flying by mid-2016 in Lufthansa colors. 25. Certification is a great thing, but 2016 is going to be critical for orders analyst Chris Murray, a managing director without a corp, told Bloomberg Business. 24. Fred Cromer, president of Bombardier's commercial aircraft unit hinted on the 21st of December, 2015 that price cuts or other incentives may be offered to bolster sales. List price for the CS100 was US dollar 71.8 million and for the CS300 US dollar 82 million. 24. Intending to boost profit margins. Bombardier announced on the 12th of January, 2016 that it would cancel deals with third-party sales agent Tag Aeronautics, as well as cancelling 24 firm and 30 optional orders, aiming to later resell these aircraft without a sales agent's fee. 26. The C-Series was adversely hit by production delays and stiff competition in 2016. On the 20th of January, United Continental Holdings Incorporated announced that it had ordered 40 Boeing 737-700S instead. 27. Air Canada announced it would buy up to 75 CS300S, a larger variant, on 17 February 2016. Prior to this, there had been no C-Series orders since 2014. 22. The C-Series program was forecast to have positive cash flow after delivering approximately 200 aircraft. 22. David Tyerman, an analyst with Canaccord Genuity, commented on the difficulty of winning orders and questioned how profitable the next C-Series order will be. 28. According to John Firm of the aviation consulting firm Leham Company, the first 15 C-Series built in 2016 each cost $60 million to make, but would sell for only $30 million. 22. Bombardier held negotiation with Delta Airlines, the latter placing an order in April 2016 for 75 CS100 models with an option for 50 additional aircraft. 29. At full list price. The deal would total US dollar 5.6 billion. Sources claimed that Delta had received a significant discount. 30. 31. Air Canada firmed up its tentative order for 45 CS 300S with an option for another 30 in June 2016. It was reportedly valued at $3.8 billion, increasing to $6.3 billion if the option was exercised based on the aircraft's list price. The next day, Bombardier delivered the first C-Series jet to Swiss International Airlines, the first operator to start flying them. 32. Government subsidy controversies. Embraer.
Brazil and Canada engaged in an international, adjudicated trade dispute over government subsidies to domestic aircraft manufacturers in the late 1990s and early 2000s. The World Trade Organization decided that Brazil ran an illegal subsidy program, PROE, benefiting Brazilian manufacturer Embra from at least 1999. 2000, and that Canada illegally subsidized its indigenous regional airliner industry. In late September 2017, the World Trade Organization announced that it would consider Brazil's complaint filed in February, including allegations that the Canadian government unfairly subsidized the C Series. 33. Embra claimed that the subsidies aren't unsustainable practice that distorts the entire global market, harming competitors at the expense of Canadian taxpayers. 34. Boeing The Bombardier CS-100 demonstrated for Delta Airlines in Atlanta. The C-Series CS-100 demonstrated for Delta Airlines in Atlanta on the 28th of April, 2016. Bombardier Aerospace recorded a firm order from Delta Airlines for 75 C-Series CS-100 plus 50 options. On the 27th of April, 2017, Boeing filed a petition for dumping them at $19.6 million each, below their $33.2M production cost. On the 9th of June, 2017, the U.S. International Trade Commission Use it, found that the U.S. industry could be threatened. On the 26th of September, the U.S. Department of Commerce, DOC, observed subsidies of 220% and intended to collect deposits accordingly, plus a preliminary 80% anti-dumping duty, resulting in a duty of 300%. The DOC announced its final ruling, a total duty of 292% on the 20th of December. On the 10th of January, 2018, the Canadian government filed a complaint at the World Trade Organization against the US. On the 26th of January, 2018, the four USIT commissioners unanimously determined that US industry is not threatened and no duty orders will be issued, overturning the imposed duties. The Commission public report was made available by February 2018. On the 22nd of March, Boeing declined to appeal the ruling. While the USIT Chad determined there was no threat, the ruling came too late for Bombardier, as the dumping petition by Boeing had already paved the way for Bombardier to relinquish a controlling interest in the C-Series to Airbus in October 2017.2015-2017 Government Assistance. On the 29th of October, 2015, the Quebec government announced that it would invest US dollar 1 billion roughly 1.3 billion Canadian dollars, to protect jobs and fexries, 1835, the province buying a 49.5% interest in the limited partnership controlling the C-Series program. 36, Bombardier had reportedly asked Ottawa for a repayable loan of $350 million, 19, while the province expected the federal government to match its $1 billion loan in return for a near 50% stake in the C-Series program. 37, 38, debts from the project had forced Bombardier to raise cash and seek aid in order to stay afloat. 39, both provincial and federal contributions came via repayable loans. Independent economist Mark Milk claimed it is questionable whether they would be repaid. 40. Calling the bailout loans corporate welfare in the Globe and Mail. 41. Days after his swearing in, on the 10th of November, 2015. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau stated Bombardier must make a strong business case for Federalid, 42, agreeing that the firm exemplified important high-value manufacturing, 43, 
but stated that such aid would be shaped by Canadians' best interests, not on emotion, politics or symbols. 37. In April 2016, the federal government offered an aid package to Bombardier without disclosing the amount or conditions imposed. It reportedly rejected the offer. 44. An unnamed source advised Reuters that negotiations were still underway. On 14 April 2016, Bombardier shares were at a six-month high.